Hello, I'm Matt Guff from TheHouse.com, and this is Chris Bain from Phase 5. So, How you doing, Chris? Hey, Guff. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for being here. Uh, Chris is kind of walking us through the 2018 Phase 5 line. Uh, we're actually on our last board. This is the Doctor. It's a high-performance, uh, kind of bigger wake surfer for guys like 180 pounds plus. Um, with, with a big style board for big style guys, does it still perform as well? Is it still, is it still fast? Is it... Is it, does it do everything that a big guy wants a high performance board to actually do? For a big guy, it's just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> is that, come on. Is that why? Is that why it's named that? It is, actually. <laughs> so, uh, so that, Good job. With, with high performance wake surf style boards, um, normally you know, a surf style board has a little less volume in the thickness of the board okay. and a little narrower outline, sure. which if, you know, once you get to that 185 to 200 pound mark, mm -hmm. um, even if you go with a longer board, it's just not as forgiving and God. fun to ride for a, a bigger, stronger guy. Yep. Uh, so the doctor, we, uh, we've done a couple of things. We added a little bit of volume into the, mm -hmm. into the build of it. So it has, yep. it's going to ride a little higher to accommodate more weight. Yep. Uh, from a surface area standpoint, we've made it, it has a more of a, a, a full outline to it, um, which yeah. is more surface area. So again, the board's gonna ride higher on the water. Sure. Uh, so these are things that are kind of, you know, that help a bigger guy mm -hmm. do things well. Um, the other thing that's really nice from a performance standpoint about the Doctor is, if you look at the outline here, this line is very parallel to this line. It's pretty, pretty straight. Yes. And, that's where you can get away with having a bigger board as long as those outlines are more parallel. That's where the speed comes from. Got it. So because if it was bowed out a little bit more, maybe a little bit slower, it and maybe slow not as quick, correct. extra edge. Yep. Got it. And the, the tail and the nose, like the, there's, well, what is this just carbon fiber strings to make the tail just a little bit stiffer? Yep. So this is a, uh, this is what we call vector netting. Okay. Um, so the construction of this board is an EPS foam core. Yep. So kind of like a regular surfboard build yep. uh, with the stringer in the middle. So this is just going to have a carbon fiber stringer on the top full as well as the bottom full length. So that adds that stiffness and rigidity, which Got equals it. speed. Got and it. then on the back, you add in this vector netting, which is mm -hmm. kind of like a carbon fiber. So it's going it's a stiffening agent. Sure. So, so when you go to hammer a big turn off the top, or if you're going to do a bottom turn and you're really pressing on the board, um, there's more stiffness and rigidity there. Got for it. Yeah. Got it. It's gonna stay, stay fast. You and then how, how about this base? Um, has, it looks like it has additional little laminates uh, down to it, and then multiple fin setups. Uh, what's the story with the fin, fin setups here? Yeah. So um, with as as with most surfboards, and the doctor follows suit. Uh, your best position, just out of the box, is going to be to use this uh, this uh, deeper surf style shaped fin. Got so it. Uh, a little deeper for hold. It has more rake here, which is where speed comes or where drive comes from. Yep. You have a longer base where speed comes from. Sure. Uh, and it's best to set this up in the forwardmost position on the outside. That's Got where it's it. most forgiving. It's still gonna spin really easy. Um, yeah. And from there, if you wanted to have a board that will arc a little bit longer bottom turn or, um, or to hack off the, off the lip, you can, you can mess around with moving these fins around. Sweet. But out of the box, forward to the outside. Got it. Now, to start. Now, does the doctor have a little bit of a con concave to the base as well? It has a real mild concave on the bottom. Uh, and what that does, more concave equals more surface area, which sure. gives you more edge holding power or more, yeah. more holding power. Mm -hmm. uh, it also, the more concave you have, makes that board easier to turn side to side. So especially with a board like the doctor. Which is a big board. Which is a big board where you have more width. Having a little bit of concave makes it easier to roll that board from your left edge to your right edge. Got it. And that's what makes it a little bit more high performance. Like if it was if it was flat, may may feel a little bit staggered from edge to edge. Maybe not it's, as quick. It just a cruise down the line. But this one has all the you know all the maneuverability, the versatility, the airability. Yeah. Of a smaller board. Sure. Just designed for you know bigger, stronger guys. This is what I need. The doctor. What an order. What there, the doctor. Ordered. There you go. <laughs> That's good. Chris, man, so, thanks so much for being thanks here. Thanks for having me, guys. You're welcome. And thank you guys, of course, for watching. If you don't leave a comment or a question, uh, let us know what you think of uh, the doctor board from Phase 5. Of course, uh, yeah, the, the link's below. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I check out more vids, and hopefully we'll see you guys in the water. Peace.